What's up, bros? It's Ricky. Hope everybody's having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why you need to stop lying to yourself, lower the ego, and start making more improvements. Let's get it. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my personal experience not long, not long ago, like over the summer, of me just having a big ego and being clouded in my head. So I've been on self-improvement since April. Like I would say where I've been really making progress. And I noticed that I've been just getting so egotistical. I've only been doing this for a, over five months. I made good progress on my physique, my mental, and I just started becoming egotistical. I would think like every single time I'll see a person, I would say, oh, I'm better than him. Oh, he's weak, I'm stronger. And it would always cloud my, my mind. But in reality, I actually had, like I was very insecure. So I'll put the insecurity on others. I would always talk down and belittle other people. But that's not the way of a masculine man. Masculine men don't don't put down people. They help, they build themselves up in order to build others up. So yeah, I made a lot of progress. I've been very egotistical, thinking I'm better than everybody else. But one day, it's not long ago. I'm still I'm still working on this. I I am very egotistical. I can say, yup, I'm very arrogant, and I love to talk about myself. And I always I do my best not to brag. So that's just something I gotta work on. But I've been noticing that like a month ago, I got humbled a lot. Because I'm not gonna lie, I've been struggling with some some ha bad habits, and I got humbled saying, "Bro, you really are not all that. You really gotta lower your ego and start making more improvements. Because what you're doing right now is not good. And you need to change that mindset up." So I used to have a al alpha male lone wolf mindset not that long ago. Yes, even three months ago, bro. I used to think I was the lone wolf for that alpha mindset, and I would always be little people. But in reality. I was just unhappy and insecure. So I'm coming on this camera now to tell you my mistakes so you don't make them. So listen, stop thinking you're all that. You still have more improvements, improvements to do. This journey is a lifetime. So just because you've been on self-improvement for a few months doesn't mean you have to trash someone who is not even on self-improvement. Because weren't you that guy like a few months ago? So what gives you the right to talk trash on that person? Because you, you used to struggle with video games you used to struggle with masturbation, weed, any bad habit. So there's no no need for you to talk trash to that person. You still have more improvements to do, and so do I. So get out your head, have a student mindset, telling yourself, okay, I have more stuff to improve on. What's the next thing I can improve on? Never really be satisfied. If you put good effort in into your self-improvement journey and your well-being, yeah, give, your, give yourself a round of applause, but it's not over yet. If you see someone who is not in a good position in their life, don't just immediately say, well, I'm better than them. I'm an alpha male. They're a loser. Actually have that attitude that you want to help them. And not long ago, like like a few days ago, I met a guy. He, he's, he's actually one of my neighbors. He doesn't seem like he's in a good position. I was talking to one of his parents, who um, who's one of my old teachers in middle school. And he's just struggling a lot with video games. He can't get his homework done. He's always distracted by his phone. And I was thinking, man, I really gotta help him. And that motivated me because right after I talked to one of the, um, his parent, I got home. It was time to work out. And I was motivated. What fueled me was I need to help future generations of young men struggling. And I kid you not, he's my age. He's 16 to 17. So I know I understand where he's coming from. I struggle with video games. I struggle with social media porn. It's tough, it's not easy, but what fueled me was getting into a better position. And what motivated me even more was to do this for all the people in my, in, my, in my environment, to do this for my family, my brothers, my friends, my, my, future, my future family, wife, all the things that motivate me to strive and push even harder. And that guy who I know I can help and put him under my wings motivated me even more. Because I could have easily had an egotistical mindset, said, "Oh, he's a loser. I, I don't want. Um, I'm an alpha male. He's weak. That's so easy to, to just belittle him. Because you don't know. It could be your neighbor who's struggling and could have suicidal thoughts. And then you have the chance to help him, and the next day he committed suicide. That's gonna affect you. That's really gonna be on your conscience. So don't have that egotistical mindset. Oh, I'm better than everybody else. Well, I don't need to improve. Oh, I've been working out for a few months." Well, I don't need to try new things out. I'm, a, I'm an alpha male. That stuff is important. But the alpha male doesn't 
trash on people. The alpha male is genuine, is genuine, it gives people guidance and builds people up. But what you gotta do first, my brothers, is build yourself up so you can help build others up. I'm still working on that. So do your best to not have an egotistical mindset like I used to have actually want to grow if you make good progress on anything you do whether it's mentally or physically or spiritually your relationship with god always ask yourself what is something i can improve on okay i'm making good improvement with muscle and my mental health what else can i improve upon okay i'm looking into being more popular and having social skills and being more of a of a righteous young man let me look into the principles of the bible what the morals and principles and the values i can start developing you always have stuff to improve on. So don't have that egotistical mindset that you have nothing to learn because you only been on self-improvement for a few months. Bro, I can say now, my mental health has increased so much, my clarity so much, I feel more happier, the effort I'm putting in, it feels good. Love your family and love others around you. You're not perceived as weak just because you, you are kind to others. Yeah, be kind, but don't let people take advantage of you. Be kind, but also be able to be assertive and aggressive at times you need to protect your tribe or your family and your loved ones. So don't have an egotistical mindset. Don't think that you're better than everybody else. You still have more improvements to, improving to do. So do I. I'm telling you now because this is my experience and I had this lesson, this mindset less than three months ago. So do better. I believe in you. That's my experience. Do not have the egotistical mindset. Yeah, yeah. Put yourself to higher standards of you know, past your limits, that you can push yourself to more, to more, what's the word I'm looking for? To more zones, I'm gonna call it that. So you get out your comfort zone, you can push yourself to higher limits. You can make so much improvements on your character. Never think that you've only been improving certain aspects of your life and you don't need to improve anymore. You still got more work to do. Hope this video helped y'all. Always have a student mindset. Never think you're egotistical. Always put yourself to a higher standard, but don't be egotistical when you think you're better than everybody else. Always give back to your loved ones, your community, your family, your friends, people that depend on you. So build yourself up first so you can help build others up as well. Hope this video helped y'all. It's your Ricky. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out.